Hey everyone, I'm Eric from the team at Pangolin. Today we're going over how to swap on Bifrost. So once you log into the app, you're going to want to go to the browser section and type in app.pangolin.exchange. This will take you to the site where you connect with Songbird. If you're not connected to Songbird immediately, you can click the top and it'll let you toggle between chains. Now you can click the hamburger and go to swap. Here you can press the middle to swap around tokens as their default pair. And you can also click on the token and it'll take you to our whitelisted tokens. And if for some reason a, a token isn't there, you can type in the token address into the search bar. Now we're gonna enter in our tokens. So you can enter in a custom amount here. You can also go above the token and it says 25%, 50%, 75% or 100%. Uh, that will automatically put in the amount of tokens. So we'll do 100%. There's a few things underneath the fields that are important. You have minimum received, which indicates the least amount of tokens you will receive and the contract will revert if it's trying to fulfill for less than that. We'll also see price impact, which gives you an idea of what to expect based on your order size. Green is good and red is bad. Then LP fee, 0.3% of every swap goes to LP providers, so that's the fee. After we hit confirm swap, it'll take us to this field where we enter in our PIN code, and then the transaction is submitted. We can run a quick check by clicking on the token list and scrolling through to figure out if our token's actually sold. So we can see there no PSB and we have more Songbird now. Another thing we wanna show you is the advanced settings. So if you click this top button, this opens some expert mode settings. So you can see slippage tolerance, which is the maximum percent of price movement your swap will allow. Uh, you can adjust this to anything you'd like up to 50% in basic mode. Main reasons for this are if there's a token tax or if it's a really volatile time for the token. You can also turn on expert mode here. If you toggle over to on, it'll ask you to click this and then type in confirm. And once that's turned on, you can go back to the main swap widget and it'll have this add recipient field, which if you open it, will bring up a place for a wallet address for a recipient. So you can add in any wallet address you'd like. And when you swap that token to Songbird in one transaction, it'll also send that Songbird to another wallet. So to turn that off, you just go back, toggle back off on the expert mode. And then if you want to change back your slippage, you can just press that point one there. Uh, you generally don't need more than point one if there's enough liquidity. So that's more or less for people who are trading different kinds of tokens. And that's about it. If you want to go back and check on your portfolio, you can exit out and go back to the homepage of Bifrost. And you can see that we sold all our PSB and we have all our Songbird. And if you click on Songbird, you can see the list of transactions here. If you want to look at anything, uh, it's a great way to check on any transactions or swaps that you're making. And that's about it for swaps on Bifrost. Uh, if you have any questions, you can join our Discord and chat with a team member. And if you found this helpful, you can subscribe to our channel. We'll be making a lot more of these. Thanks.